everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sabrina and I'm back with another Excel tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the substitute function in Excel. So what the substitute function does is it basically allows you to replace specific text in a text string. Okay, so for example, you can see in my spreadsheet here, I've got a list of full names, but on the left of each full name, I've got the year 2020. Now I want to replace the year with 2023 in all of these text strings. So I can use the substitute text function to replace the year. So what you would do is you would click on the first cell, you would type equal substitute Okay, so you can see that the function has appeared at the bottom there and it tells you that this will replace existing text with new text in a text string. So you would then type open bracket. Okay, and you can see the arguments that you need to fill in. So the first one is you have to select the text that you want to um, substitute. Okay, so for example, the text is basically, it's the whole of the text string. Okay, so you can just select the cell. So I'm just going to select this first cell here and that would input the cell reference number. You would then type comma and then you want to put in the old text. Now, whenever you put in the old text, you want to make sure you put that in between quotation marks. Okay, so you would type quotation mark. You would then type the old text. So the old text for us is the year, which is 2020. So I'm just going to type 2020 and then close that with another quotation mark. You would then type another comma. And then you want to put in the new text that you want to replace it with. So I want to replace that with 2023. So again, you want to put that in quotation marks like so. Okay. And then you would close your bracket. So that completes the function and then press enter on your keyboard. And there you go. Okay. So the text string has changed. So the 2020 has now changed to 2023. Okay. Um, and I can also copy and drag this formula down so I can select the first cell go to my fill handle, which is basically the small green square in the bottom right hand corner of the selected cell. Okay, so if you hover your mouse over the fill handle, you'll see a black cross. And then when you double click, it will copy and drag that formula down into the rest of the cells. And you can see that all of my text strings have replaced the year with the current 2023. Okay, so that's how you would use the substitute text function. Okay, so that's basically used to replace specific text in a text string. Now, this was the substitute function. Another scenario would be using the replace text function. Okay, so if you look at my table now, I've got a list of full names, but I've got different years on the left of each name. So the purpose of that is basically it tells you the year that each person started working for our company. So Alice, for example, started in 2018, Blake started in 2020 and so on. Now what I want to do, to do here is I want to replace the first two characters of each year with two stars. Okay. Now to do that, I can use the replace function. So again, what you would do is you would type equal replace. Okay. And then open bracket and you'll see the arguments there that you need to fill in. So the first one is old text. So you need to select the text that you want to replace. Um, or the text string rather. So this is the whole of the text string. Okay, so you want to select the whole of the text string. So you, you can just select a cell 
and that would enter the cell number in your formula. You would then type comma. The next argument now is the start number. Now the start number is the position of the character in the old text that you want to replace with the new text. So for me, I want to replace the, the two and the zero, okay, at the start of each year. Okay, so the start number or the position of the character of the old text starts from character number one. Okay, so I'm just going to put number one in my formula. You would then type comma. And then the next argument is number of characters. So this is the number of characters in your old text that you want to replace to replace with the new text. So I want to replace two characters, okay? Starting from character number one. So you would put two, you would then enter comma again, and then you want to enter the new text that you want to replace it with. So again, you would use quotation marks. You would then enter in your new text. So that would just be two stars. And then you would close that with another quotation mark. Okay. And then to complete the function, you want to close your bracket and then press enter on your keyboard. So there you go. It's now replaced the start of the year. Okay, so it's replaced the two and the zero with two stars. Now I can copy and drag that formula down as well. So you just select the first cell with the formula in, you go to your fill handle and just double click into your fill handle and that will then copy and drag the same formula down into the rest of cells. So now you can see the rest of my text strings have been replaced. Okay, so that's the difference between substitute and the replace function. So I hope that's helped. Um, if it has helped, please do like and share the video so that you can reach out to more people. And do consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.